Alrighty, so we have a pretty big construction update for today. So um, vertical construction, and I mean actually lifting track pieces into place, has not started, but the process of vertical construction started yesterday. So today on the construction site, um, there were a couple people from Fox Construction uh, working and installing, you know, the bolts and the threaded um, or whatever you want to call those washers, I guess, for the footings. Uh, to protect the between the support and the actual connector piece to the footing. I am just making these words up right now if you can't tell, but they were definitely just double checking parts and going over that and uh, viewing some blueprints and making sure everything's okay. So um, that far left piece orange is either a um, generator or a garbage bin. We're not quite sure. Um, and then there's something with propane parts in it to the left and then to the right over here. Lots of generators on site and electrical going down into the pre-lift area. So we don't know what's going on in there quite yet. Um, but nothing um, too exciting yet other than construction has slightly moved into the Timberwolf area. It's very hard to tell unless you knew exactly what to look for. But tree removal has started, which you'll see a little later on in the video. Um, now in this video, a uh, little hint to you, we have hidden... Um, a portion of a blueprint. And the reason we hid this blueprint is it's going to be impossible for you to fully make out what's going on in that blueprint without knowing the full layout. Um, it's not meant to be a teaser. We just wanted, a lot of you are begging for blueprints, so we wanted to release something. So we got uh, our hands on a bit more, and uh, we're going to release that portion of the blueprint just because you're not going to be able to make sense of what's going on in that blueprint. And we want you guys to have some sort of information. And I mean, if you make something out of it, that's totally cool as well. Um, but just want to go over the fact that in this area, there isn't a lot of the coaster going to be in this area other than a straight section. A lot of people are like, oh, well, they haven't started construction over there and they could. Um, just know that the coaster in that little dirt area doesn't actually go there other than a few support columns. Now, that area over the trees is where a lot of the coaster goes. So expect that area to change. Now, some track has arrived. So this piece right here that I'm looking at is the top of the lift hill turn into the drop. There should be about um, three to five pieces for the top of the drop, depending. And um, just to help you guys out in figuring out stuff, there are seven pieces of staircase um, that are estimated at 40 feet. Do what you will with those numbers, but there are definitely seven staircases on either side. So there's seven pieces of the thicker, or sorry, wider um, staircase, and there's seven pieces of the thinner, um, less wide staircase piece, and they're about 40 feet long. So do with that as you will to figure out the height. Um, again, we don't know. Not all parts have arrived, um, but yes, we are definitely forecasting a larger drop on this coaster than Val Raven, and the proof is coming in uh, tenfold. So for those of you that don't think this coaster is going to be larger than Val Raven, I would um, maybe calm down a little bit on your stance against that because there is a lot of proof that is suggesting otherwise. Now, in terms of support columns, we are looking at the same amount of support columns for the lift structure so far, but more arrived yesterday, and we are expecting more to arrive tomorrow. So um, stay tuned for that, because if one more piece arrives for the lift structure, we are ready to call um, our. This is definitely going to be larger than Val Raven um, prediction, because right now we have the same exact amount of lift hill supports at the same length as Val Raven. So right now we're looking at around the same height. Um, which would still make it a larger drop, but we are forecasting that we should see maybe one more support column arrive for the part of the coaster that will tell us the actual height of the coaster. Um, and it's this part right here, column seven. We are waiting again for one more piece to call it, but at this current moment, it is the same height as Val Raven. So um, we should know as of tomorrow night, or maybe even Monday night, depending on when the track is delivered, exactly what's going on. But we are getting pretty close to being able to call it um, ourselves. So this is column seven one, there's column seven two and column seven three currently on site. Um, and we just need that one more piece to help us out, which is pretty exciting. Um, we haven't been able to fully give you a height as we don't know ourselves. And um, it looks like that's the last piece that everyone wants to know. And if we do find it out, we will reveal what we know in terms of height. We are not holding back on any information regarding the height. That is something we will share if we fully find out. Um, but it appears Wonderland has actually been really great at keeping it a secret. 
Um, so as you can see, this is all Fox Construction's equipment. It arrived yesterday. Um, a one more piece of equipment um, did arrive in the back area near Splashworks as well. Um, we didn't film it because Splashworks was so crazy swamped today that I didn't want to um, pull out my camera there just because it was just people everywhere, shoulder to shoulder people in splash rigs. Um, so as you can see here, this is one of the construction workers that was working on the station area. And in later footage, you'll see that um, they appear to be working on column station support number two and four. Um, it's written on their whiteboard. And um, again, keep a lookout for any hidden information in this video, but it looks like they're working on station support column number two and four first, based off of what we've seen in... Um, the information we've gathered today. Um, and yeah, uh, lots going on, but not what you guys were expecting. So in terms of vertical construction, it's a very slow process because everything has to be correct. If they mess up at all, they have to start over, um, especially with the footings. And I believe this guy was just ensuring all those, as you can see, all the connecting pieces are now there. You can see that they installed the bolts, they installed um, that plate, and uh, it looks like they're ready to go. So, I mean, actual vertical construction that you guys are expecting might start um, tomorrow. It may start Monday. It may start Tuesday. The fireworks may have something to do with um, not starting till next week, but we're not fully sure yet. But as you can tell, lots of equipment has been arriving. It's all Fox. They're ready to go. Um, this guy seems to have just been finishing the last installing the, the screws or the welds and the plates for the footings. And they're all there ready to go. So that was something different in terms of this construction site. Now, what's even more interesting is the tree area near Timberwolf. So yesterday there was one tree cut down. Today there were three to four trees cut down, and they're all where columns are marked. So in the forest, there's these nails that are nailed into the ground that have orange tape on them that tell you exactly what column number is going there. And this is how we figured out that this coaster will be longer than Val Raven. Again, um, this coaster goes really far, like exceptionally far towards Timberwolf's entrance and then comes back. It's got a really long layout um, and we are very excited for the announcement in 12 days for this coaster. I mean, for me, this is definitely one of the most anticipated coasters because it's my home park and because there's a lot of uniqueness to this. Um, I, I definitely get that there's going to be a lot more thrilling um, attractions that will probably be announced. It's hard for a dive coaster to be exceptionally thrilling, but this is definitely exciting project nonetheless so again i correct myself it's station four two right one right um support column that they're going to be working on first by the looks of it um it looks like this whiteboard is kind of like their project for the day like what they need to do and they erase it as they do it is my guess i could be totally wrong um but um some of the crates have been moving in here again so these crates are holding a lot of the bolts and the plates and there were a lot of there was definitely electrical going down into the pre-lift we can't see what they're doing in there yet um, but definitely very exciting. So um, I'm expecting that they'll actually start with the station. I thought they would start with the transfer shed first, but it looks like they're going to start with the station first, um, which is cool. And uh, I'm guessing a track piece won't be installed until after the announcement. So there's nothing to hide really in terms of starting uh, vertical so soon. Um, but that's it for the construction tour. Now, we're going to head on into our abandoned series. So in our abandoned series, um, we have Thunder Run. I'm kidding. Um, so Thunder Run, as many of you know, is closed, and it's been closed for a while. And uh, it, to our knowledge, it's closed for structural um, repairs. Uh, so from what we're hearing, and uh, again, this is a speculation and rumor bid, we don't have any concrete information Thunder Run is just going under some temporary repairs to freshen up some of the wood um, and ensure that the coaster is operational. And it, we're hearing that it could potentially open August 7th, that their goal is to have this open on August 7th. So it will be closed until then. Um, but yeah, sad news. But I mean, it's great that Thunder Run is getting some much needed work and I can't wait for it to open August 7th for all the families to enjoy. Um, it's definitely a uh, great attraction for the families at Canada's Wonderland. Um, so if you have any questions about Thunder Run, comment down below. I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. Again, it's just closed for some temporary repairs as all coasters and rides go through in every park. So nothing um, to be concerned about. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll be at the park tomorrow. Have a good one, guys. Bye.